In this video, we're going to learn everything to do with the exercises, how to create them, how to erase them, how to download pre-existing exercises. The first thing we have to do is go to the management area down here to the right and push this button here where it says exercises. And all the default exercises should appear. To start adding exercises, what we have to do is click on this plus sign up here to the right. Okay, and the first thing that pops up are these templates. And what are these templates? Well, there are a series of pre-established exercises that we put in here, which you can see the icon, the name, and if you click on one, you can also see all the adjustments you can make to just one of the exercises. And we did this beforehand to try and make life a little easier for you. So if you are looking, for example, for, I don't know, for this exercise, barbell jump, you would simply click here, click here, and it will download. And imagine you also want this exercise, ATG squat. You just click on the download icon, and it will download. And then when you come back here to management again, you will see you have these two exercises downloaded and fully functional, and you can start training with them. For example, barbell jump. I will click and then start. Another thing we can do is add them to favorites, any exercise we want, and they will appear at the top, at the top of the list. And what is this for? Well, if they are the most used exercises that we use every time we train, each time we go to this screen, they will appear all the way at the top, and we will be able to access them much quicker. These two, which are the ones we just created, we would simply click and we can do a new exercise, which in this case would be barbell jump as quickly as possible. Another option would be to create a personalized exercise. We go back to management exercises, we click on the plus sign, and go all the way to the bottom where it says create a new exercise here. And we can create a new exercise from scratch. The first thing we have to do is give it an icon. We have here quite an extensive library of icons in which you can find practically any gym exercise. Here it's loading and it has a lot more. Now let's imagine we want to do this one, a chest press machine. We just select the icon. Once we have the icon, we write the name, for example, machine press, for example. Okay, we can give it a comment if we want, we can add it to favorites if we want, we can give it a tag. This here, muscle groups, is it's mandatory. Here, the first thing we have to do is see which is the predominant muscle group, if it's upper body or lower body, in this case it's upper body. We're going to say we work the chest, shoulders, and triceps, for example. We select the muscles, and we can use a series of pre-established tags, like, for example, jump, power, LR, which is to indicate whether the exercise is unilateral, like, for example, first with one arm and then with the other. In this case, it's not. And now we're going to create a new exercise by clicking here on the plus symbol, and we're going to call it, for example, machine. And what are these tags for? Well, later when we search, we can search for specific tags. For example, create a list of all the exercises that train power, that train jump, or really anything you want, however you want to divide the exercises. This is really your choice. You can organize yourself however you want. Can also, let's get rid of the keyboard. You can also use a YouTube URL. And then these are just advanced adjustments in which you can change the principal variable, for example, well, let's say you don't want the principal variable to be medium propulsive velocity, you want it to be maximum velocity. Well, you could change it. And if you don't know what this is for, we recommend you don't use this. And here you can also fill in the RM equation you want to use by default for this exercise. This is important to remember that this will be the default equation. The same with the ROM filter, if you want to put a default value or a default value for the 1RM filter. These are all values by default, but each athlete 
can have his or her own equation, their own ROM filter, their own 1RM filter. If you then do a test with each one of them and change the value with each athlete, then these values won't be of use to you. This is only by default. Okay, now we have our exercise. We're going to hit save. Okay. And now we can see how it's been added to our main list, how we have the machine press exercise we just created, and also how it appears under the favorites section, as we said. And we can see the details we just input. We can modify if we want by clicking the edit button. Let's see. Okay, it says we can't edit because there is a training session in progress. We have a session half completed, so let's finish it now. Okay, and this was good, so you could see that you can't edit anything if there is a training session in progress. Okay, now that we've finished this session, we could edit anything we want. We just click here, and we change any variable like we saw before. Okay. Now let's imagine we want to erase one of the exercises we just created. It's simply not useful anymore. All we do is swipe left, click Erase, and of course, like before, if there's a training session in progress, it won't let you edit, erase, adjust any of the exercises. First, you would finish the training session, and then once you finished, you simply swipe left and erase, and it will disappear from the list. But Anytime you want, you can go back here and look for it. If it's a team plate exercise, it will be here. If it's one we created, it would be erased permanently. We recommend you use the team plate exercises if possible because they're well configured. And the moment you no longer need them, you can erase them and they will still be here. And this is everything related to the exercises.